Hey guys, Criterion and Variant Dungeons are out now and it is time to talk about how to unlock them, what to do in them, and the rewards that you're looking at. So the first step is to unlock them, which is done by speaking with Osmon after you've completed the Endwalker questline in Old Charlian at coordinates of X of 12 and Y of 13.3. This will start off a chain of quests that continues with Shallow Moor right beside him. That also is going to show the NPC that has all of the rewards that you can obtain from participating in Criterion and Variant Dungeons, but he's not going to show you all of his goods until you progress further into the quest line. Through the quest line, you're going to eventually be prompted that the VNC, the Variant and Criterion Dungeon menu, is now unlocked in a description of everything going on with that. There are going to be multiple different paths that you can explore and unlock more in the story that can be added to a story journey which is also accessible through this VNC menu. The variant dungeon, which is going to be the first dungeon that you unlock, is more casual and it's being scaled in difficulty, so if you queue in solo like I did, you're going to have it scaled down, and if you queue with four people, it's going to scale up in difficulty. At this point, you're also going to be introduced to variant actions that can make up for missing skills in the party, like Cure or Rampart, that can be changed in the dungeon finder window, which is always available by the duty element. Let's quickly go over those variant actions before I keep going though. You get Cure to heal, you get ultimatum that's an area of effect provoke, raise that revives, spirit dart that deals a ton of aoe damage and definitely is worth using if you don't have like, if you have the ability to use it you should just take it in my opinion. Then you also have rampart that decreases your damage taken and so for me I went with rampart with spirit dart personally honestly I'm gonna be serious, this is extremely soloable, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Well, let's talk about the reward structure. And so during the dungeon, I got personal spoils called Deceiver's Diamonds, and bosses gave me sealed in potsherds, and then I got a card for the final boss too. What these are, are that these are special currencies that can be traded in with croissant for various items like the Inspector Glamour. Uh, this noir does actually mean black and French. Hooray for being Canadian for once, it's helped me read, read French. But he's going to be really your source for all of the goods that you're going to get from these dungeons. After the variant dungeon, I was back outside and spoke with the foreman and continued to complete the quest Akita the Past, and eventually I unlocked a seal day survey record and that could keep track of progress through each possible path of the variant dungeon. Now let's continue deeper into this and this is going to involve unlocking Criterion and to do that you just need to speak with Osmond which really quickly unlocks Criterion dungeons. There's not a whole lot of fanfare to it which can be best be thought of as like the normal mode of the dungeon. When you think variant think more casual side of things. When you think of Criterion think more normal mode or maybe some people are like putting it as extreme it's only been out for like two hours at this point so we don't really have the language for it yet i view it as like normal or extreme but this can be accessed through the vnc menu at the top tab and be queued into solo which will match you with the party. But I'm gonna be serious, once you get like past the first boss and second boss, which definitely do have mechanics, you might wanna consider doing party finder. I'm not 100% sure. I guess technically you could keep queuing in for it. It's really good at the start, but uh, once you prog deep, it becomes kind of easier to party finder it. But once you've unlocked the Criterion Dungeons, this is gonna make more options available from Croissant for purchase with the items that you get from the drops, like the normal variant dungeon, we talked about. As you can see, it includes mostly material, but also, mo also most importantly, amount. So something definitely worth looking out for, especially because you can sell this mount on the market board. And yes, you can, as my footage shows. Oh my good god. <laughs> you can sell this on the market board. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> But aside from that, the only real difference is that every single party member only has one raise and healers, red mage, and summoner can't use raises in this. To be direct, the creatures in here already hit extremely much harder and not paying attention to their mechanics, even the quote unquote trash mobs, will dismantle you exceptionally quickly. We're we'll releasing a guide focused on this probably tomorrow. It depends on how much sleep I'll get because I haven't gotten any, but probably tomorrow and it'll cover all of the so-called trash mobs, the packs you can pull, the boss mechanics, because I kid you not, these have some really well-defined mechanics and you should keep a close eye out for, which is great. This is what I've wanted for a while. Once you're all finished with the normal Criterion Dungeon, you simply speak again with Osmond and then you have unlocked the Savage Criterion Dungeon alongside all of the loot options from Croissant. Now to be clear, Savage Criterion Dungeons are severely more spicy than the normal version. Normal Criterion 
Barbarian Dungeons, you could theoretically use the full dungeon timer if you wanted, but in Savage, you have what is called the Sewer Dweller buff that after too long in the Savage Criterion Dungeon, the dungeon's monster's damage will absolutely skyrocket. The damage that they will take is severely reduced, and it's basically like a built-in timer to ensure that you go through the dungeon quick enough. All other things are going to be there are absolutely no revives allowed that includes special action revives you aren't given any special actions here none of those special skills from variant dungeons at all it's completely gone and if the party completely wipes the entire dungeon instance is reset no questions asked and so it's like exceptionally more punishing to say the least and that's really all i have to say for now until the guides come out i don't want to blow this video too much so take care everyone and i hope that you enjoy this patch and have a great day if this video helped you out i would be so happy if you consider dropping silky's soft puff broom things on that like button <laughs> i think they're makeup brushes and cat daddy that subscribe button